Hello everyone. I'm Chaitanya Kanchala, technical expert for Simulation X at ASI. In this video, we will see how chaining can be established between VPS and Simulation X using the functional mockup interface. The dynamic models in Simulation X are exported as FMUs, and these FMUs are imported into the VPS environment using our GenX GenPro interface. To demonstrate this, I'm going to start with a simple example of a elastic beam. In VPS, such a model would look like this, which has finite elements constrained on either side. Now this beam is, uh, is intended to be actuated by the hydraulic cylinder, and the actuation circuit is built in simulation X. That is what we are going to import into this environment as an FMU. Coming back to simulation X. First, we represent such a beam structure. With these elements. With a fixation on either side. And the actuator is represented. By this circuit. A cylinder. A hydraulic valve. And a set curve that controls the. Uh, hydraulic valve so that it could actuate this beam. So before we generate an FMU of this model, it, it is worthwhile to verify whether this model is working as intended. Now that we've verified that it works as we intend it to work, we can move the actuation circuit into another model and establish an interface with VPS using this interface element. This interface element comes from the interface to VPS package in the generic interfaces. The interface element, as you can see, contains mechanical input pins and computes either force or torques and gives that to the VPS model. So, <clears throat> Here we have used a linear mechanics to a VPS interface, but then as you can see, there are several such interfaces which could be used appropriately uh, as required in different models, different kinds of models. To generate an FMU out of this model, click on the simulation tab, click C code export, give an appropriate name for the project, choose an appropriate path, on the local drive, select FMI version 3.0. Click on FMI configuration. The platform support for Windows and Linux is required. In case the Linux platform is not available, you, you can follow the instructions given on the Simulation X documentation for installing the Linux platform. So in the section getting started, click on installation. In installation, select Linux installation or scroll down to Linux installation. Follow the instructions given on this page to install a Linux platform and a compiler. Once that is done, you should be able to Click on this checkbox and select the appropriate compiler from the list available. Remember not to give any inputs or outputs in case this FMU is being generated to be used in the VPS environment. Directly move on to the terminals. Over here, please select the, the node. Sel select parameters if required. And click on generate and build in the last tab, which is generate and build. This will start creating the FMU in the path that was described in the project tab. The interface node has a parameter called the interface node index, which has a value zero currently. We will see how this 
node index would be utilized later on in the video. Now let's go to the VPS environment. In the VPS environment, I'm using the version 2023.5. Over here, the exported FMU from Simulation X has to be imported and connected to this model. For that, please select Crash, User Interfaces, and select Generalized User Interface Properties Definition. In here, choose an appropriate name for this interface. Click on library type, select FMU3. Browse to the location where the FMU is generated. Remember to click on the interface parameters. Click apply and say OK. Furthermore, select generalize user interface geometry definition. Over here, from the list of already existing interfaces, choose the hydraulic actuator interface that we've recently created. We can optionally choose a title for this interface as well. Click on the nodal interface. In the nodal interface, the, the nodal index for the terminal or for the uh, interface element that we've used in simulation X, which has the index zero has to be specified in id com i column and the node the interface node for on the vps model or on the finite element model can be selected using the interface the VPS interface. Once that is done, click on apply. And that's it. So that's how the, the interface between the FMU that we have created from simulation X has been established. Now we only have to start the simulation. Once the simulation is complete, we can see the results of the simulation in Visual Viewer. In Visual Viewer, Select the appropriate result parameter of interest. And then click on animate to see how the flexible beam has been actuated by the hydraulic circuit imported into the VPS interface as an FMU. While we've seen in this video how the chaining between VPS and Simulation X could be established, the real use cases can be far more complicated. We talk about such a real use case in this blog or where Simulation X helps improve the accuracy of the pre-crash scenarios or vehicles that use active safety systems. So this is how we can establish a chaining between VPS and Simulation X very easily. Thank you.